Okay, um, it is uh, July 25th. So uh, what I wanted to do, I've got no trades um, that have been taken today. What I ended up doing was I turned my shorts off because here's where I'd like to see a short, right? So what we had was a big push to the downside that has played out. And um, in our room, uh, we were looking at this. So there's a great short opportunity here this they ended up taking out the swing low by just a few ticks and then um, now that we've gotten into the european market closed they decided they wanted to push short when we whenever we get a midline cross here's our midline at 50. so when this green line crosses above the dotted magenta there may be the follow-through back to this 4360s that we're looking at um, but for right now we just have a, a real big stretch to the downside playing out and there's no interest in buyers so what i don't like doing is um is looking for shorts on overstretched markets because uh, the last several attempts that they did were all trickery and then there was follow through on this latest one. So um, that being said, let's have a look at what uh, these different things on our charts look like. So we've got our buttons. Um, if you want to pause the strategy, you just hit that. If I wanted to turn my shorts on, which I don't want them on because um, of uh, our overstretched condition, I do want to look for shorties in this area. So that's great. And I'll keep an eye on it. And if uh, if we do a retracement to this area, then I can just turn my shorts on and the auto will automatically look for a short in that vicinity. Uh, you can instantly get into a trade by sell buttons are there and, and you can close a trade. So that's all without having to disable your, uh, your strategy. Um, so uh, this vertical line that looks different from the other vertical lines, this tells us when we turn the strategy on. So this yellow box portion, this is when it's not taking trades and you're actually in control of that. So we'll have a look at that in a moment. So this is when it started looking for trades and then, yeah, it identified a couple of shorts. Uh, what we need on this chart, since it's going for 10 ticks a trade, is we need about five candles. So um, if we look at uh, these moves um, going into uh, even last Friday, so obviously there's um, more than five candles there, so that would be a winner. Same thing here, this short would be a winner, this long would be a winner, this short would be a winner, uh, this long hit five candles, this short did, this one not so much, this one only went about um, three candles in and then turned over and then this short uh, hit the five backed up and then had all kinds of follow through as we got into this um, massive push to the downside that has been playing out. So running it overnight would have been great and then we get into regular US market open pit open stuff and uh, not very good not dynamic and uh, not showing us the kind of things that we would prefer to see so I've just got it paused right now and uh, hasn't taken anything on the day so let's get into uh, our different settings and have a look at those okay so as we go down we're not uh, using diver scout that's one of our indicators so we don't have that turned on right now zero means it's off and we're using our entry um, I'm just using a little 1010 uh, for entries and then um, for counter trend I have a zero there that means it's not going to take any counter trend entries and my counter trend button is grayed out because of that um, this we don't have to uh, mess with um, if you have your hook on it'll get you out very quickly but sometimes too quickly so uh, what we want to do normally is give trades an opportunity to work out even if there's you know one candle that backs up on you one candle that backs up is enough to knock you out if you have your hook on, but not if you're using your recross exit. Um, in terms of your times, um, I've got this set up so that I've got two different times where it would start after the pit opens and then stop taking trades prior to crude oil inventories. So at 1030 would normally be crude oil inventories on a Wednesday and it would start trading a minute after that. So um, we want to give crude oil inventories a minute to work itself out and prior to that really nothing's going on uh, for 10 minutes or even 20 minutes sometimes very slow morning leading up to crude oil inventories and then everything goes crazy for a little for a minute um, so I'm using this today which is I don't need to have that uh, that 10 minute pause for crude oil inventory so I can just run that I've got um, my market orders uh, as long as market orders are filling for you which means you're filling on the candle somewhere not way off the candle um, that's what you want to look for limit orders will, will fill you on the candle but they may not fill sometimes so just um, that's going to uh, depend on how easily uh, you get filled and 
how the market is moving at that time. Um, I've got a, a 10 tick stop and target um, and uh, you can have a different target for longs and shorts. I'm using the same. You can do all of your break even and trail stop stuff there. So just turn those to one and then adjust those how you like. And you can have your daily gain and ga daily loss uh, put in there. And then uh, lower down, these are for our buttons. So our buttons, um, I have my counter trend off. So that's why it's going to remain grayed out even if I click it on screen. And then um, I've got my operating mode real time. So if you want to see trades in the past, just turn that to back test. Or if you want to take future trades, then turn that to real time.